All right, hello everyone, and peace of Christ, all of you again. Uh, actually, the video we just made, I'm not going to delete it. I decide to do editing later, like I can use uh, YouTube Studio to cut the part where we play the video about uh, the children's, so YouTube will not complain. And then you guys, you can download. So I will cut only that part, you know, but I need some time, maybe tomorrow I will do it. I did not delete it, I kept it there, and the uh, ultimate part, you can download the video if you want. Your conversation will be there. Now, uh, actually, before we start, I just search. So what is Islam? Because, as you see, we are going to have a topic of questions and answers. What is Islam? And then I found this website, Global Ministries. And guess what? This is a Christian website. Christian website full of lies about Islam. Now, I'm not saying they are lying. They are naive. There is many of those churches. Or they are politically correct. Christian website, global ministries, speaking about Islam. Tons of lies there. If you read even, they are explaining to you that uh, terrorism has nothing to do with Islam. Jihad does not mean go and kill the Christians. And the Jews and the Hindus and the Buddhas know Jihad means to strive for faith. This is why, my friend, you have to be careful. Our one frog frequently misunderstood aspect of Islam is the concept of jihad. Who is the one saying that? Christian website. Jihad is a striving of Islamic faith toward the truth and right. Who is saying that? Christian website. You believe it? How in the world those people, they are Christians? If we go right now and search what the word jihad is, here we go, the Quran in front of us. I will type the word jihad. Jihad is a striving for the truth, peacefully, This is why it doesn't matter really who is the one who present this cult for you. The matter is the truth. All those words are jihad. When a Muslim he do jihad, he have to humiliate the kuffar and he have to be humble toward the believers. And look here they are not even translate correctly but let us see this is what the word jihad translation is turn toward the disbelievers fighting in the way of Allah if we go and read the interpretation we will see in the Quran asking the Muslims to kill all those who disbelieve All those verses speaking about jihad. How the Muslim do jihad? By shedding your blood and the brothers and blood of others. Chapter 9, verse number 20. Those who believe in the oneness of Allah. Okay. It doesn't say that in the Quran, by the way. It says those who believe. Between two brackets, it's not there. And migrated or immigrated 
and stro strove hard and fought in Allah's cause. Fought, fought, fought. It's a war. In the Christian website, they say to you, to strive jihad means to strive for the truth. Now, jihad, it can be that. Yes, it can be. Anything is, uh, is hard. It's like saying crusade in English. But jihad in Islam is the best of jihad is to kill the infidels. How we can prove that this is the correct meaning of it? Maybe Christian Prince is making things up. Who knows better what jihad means? The answer is obviously Muhammad. Right? I mean, if you want to say to me that Muhammad do not know, that is a problem. If you are a Muslim and you want to say to me that Muhammad is the last one to give us definition, then his God Allah do not know the definition of jihad, that means there is a problem with Muhammad and Muhammad is a fraud. So if we go in the Quran in different verse, we will find this. Chapter 9, verse number 41. March 4th. March where? March for jihad. How do you do that? Carry with you what is enough for the fight. Sacrifice your life for the cause of Allah. How you sacrifice your life? Maybe the Muslims here are getting killed. Maybe they are victims. No. Muhammad, he explained to us how that can happen. What is the best explanation for jihad let us see all the apostles said he who pray bears ghazi ghazi is the one who do attack ghazi is the one who do attack an invader you see it even the Muslim fighter Ghazi is the one who do invasion the one who prepare him the one who support him the one who give him arm the one who give him a horse the one who give him a food is doing jihad too so jihad is not only the one who fight is those who support the fighters who go to kill the Christians and the Jews that is the jihad what else Hmm? What Muhammad said additional to that? Any Muslim we have in the chat? Do we have any Muslim? No Muslims? Muhammad, he made it clear his mission of jihad. He said, I've been ordered to kill all mankind who don't accept Islam. All of this is Sahih Hadith. And the only one to save their blood from being shed by me and their property from being stolen by me is to recite Shahada. And to do as I do. And this is the only way to protect themselves from me. As you see, this is Muhammad's statement. And this is the Muslim books. And this is authentic.
Allah Messenger said, and this is Sahih Bukhari, I have been ordered to fight the people, which people? All mankind. An Nas, An Nas, which means mankind. Till they say, so what is jihad? Jihad is going attacking you until you say the shahada, and then we will not kill you. You say shahada, you convert to Islam. That is the first step. Until they say, none has the right to be worshipped, and they say also, and they pray like us, and face our qibla, which means you pray to the Kaaba, not only you say shahada, and they slaughter as we slaughter, and they eat as we eat, and then, and then, their blood and the property will be sacred to us. So what is the condition that you will be not killed and your blood will not be slaughtered? And what is the condition not to take your house and your wife and your children? Say Shahada. So those in this Christian website, when they say to you, Jihad is not what they are, what somebody says, obviously they are a stupid fool, deceiving Christians shamely, yet they claim to be Christians. Yet, they claim to be Christians. So, I wanted to start with this because you need to be careful. Not every Christian or somebody claim to be Christian, he is a truthful. There's many there. They are lying. They are hypocrite. They are just following the flow of politically correct. Because if they post an article against Islam, then they might, uh, you know, be accused of... Uh, uh, being uh, uh, doing bigotry, you know, as they claim, right? Bigotry, racism, hatred. You're teaching hatred. The second you start saying the truth, they accuse you of hatred. But isn't it this is the truth? Isn't it this is what Muhammad said? Isn't it this is the uh, the most authentic book after the Quran? Isn't it the Quran says in chapter nine twenty nine, fight and kill the Christians, and that they convert to Islam and say shahada. Hmm. Does it say that or are making things up? No, my friend. Uh, 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 our brother here, Vigo, saying the following. I appreciate your comment, Vigo, but let us discuss it logically. Vigo said, maybe not lying, maybe that the it, it is what they understood about it. Okay, my friend, how come they understood it wrong? There is one of two options. Either they are a bunch of ignorant, claiming to have knowledge, and now they want to teach us, and that will make them a fraud. And they are the Christians. So either you have a knowledge, you open your mouth, or you don't have a knowledge, then then you open your mouth and mislead people, right? As an example, if you ask me about Jehovah's Witnesses, and then I start saying to you, Jehovah's Witnesses are Christians, and etc. And then, can I say, well, maybe I do not know? Well, if I do not know, then I should not open my mouth. You are a church. Do you understand me, Virgo? Or Vigo? Somebody asked me about Hindus. I don't know much about Hindus. I'm not going to open my mouth about it. My knowledge about it, very little. Can I debate a Hindu about Hinduism? I will be a fool. I know nothing about it, almost. My knowledge about it is very little. Ah, the connection is bad again. Oh, boy. Yeah, I need to fix this. I think, uh, you see, I downloaded the program again, and I need to reset the the broadcast uh, I need to check in the internet again it's fine here all right so my friend it's not an excuse to say I do not know and you open your mouth you do not know don't open your mouth don't deceive the Christians saying things which is not true Emido just post it here because my Skype is not open Emido uh, uh, pause the question here please Uh, could you make detailed video on Arabic grammar in the Quran and whether it has uh, got an error or the Quran is an wrongly in grammar in Arabic I do not need to make a video my friend the first verse in the Quran is wrong from the first verse 
Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. In Arabic, we don't have a language. It's called Bism. We have Bism. The Muslims they took Alif, the letter A, of the word, just to make it easier to pronounce, and that is against Arabic. You cannot do that. You cannot change the structure of a word just because you want to sing it. But who who dare to say that you cannot do that? And actually, not only that, the Muslims they fabricate saying that the Arabic should fit with the Quran, not the opposite. But the Arabic is exists before the Quran. Emilio, just ask the question here, my friend. Uh, so, and the reason I don't talk about mistakes in the Quran and in grammar, I mean, how many of you knows Arabic? Maybe one, two. However, if you are an Arab, you can search right now in Google, Arabic mistakes in the Quran, and there's thousands of websites counting for you endless numbers of mistakes. You guys losing connection? Okay, let me do this. I don't know what to do now. Should we stop uh, podcast? Women right. We can't talk about it. No problem. How many of you guys have a uh, uh, bad connection? Okay, I need to change the setup then. I'm not going to waste my time. And uh, you guys, you cannot uh, hear me or see what on my screen. So uh, I hope by tomorrow I will, I, will, I will finish for now. And I will work after I finish in this program setup. I will search in Google what is the best setting for, uh, for the broadcast. So we can solve it. You think it's normal? I don't know, but some people, they have any problem. Anyway, so the Quran... Is full of mistakes starting from the word Quran in Arabic there's nothing called Quran anyone who know Arabic that's not 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 right what Quran this is an Aramaic word Muhammad he stole it he do not know what it's mean until now in Arabic in in the in the, in the Aramaic church they say Quran 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 is where the word Quran coming from so, like, uh, uh, in Arabic churches, they say Qira'a. In Aramaic churches, Qura'a. What, what does Qura'a mean? Reading from the book, from the Bible. Muhammad, he took it, he put it in his book, but that would be stupid. Why? Because he said Qur'an. And Qur'an is something coming from the Aramaic with Qarra wa Ra'a. Qarra wa ra'a. Qarra, you move your lips saying something which you see. Ra'a is seen in Arabic. Qarra is seen. And this is from the Aramaic. So Quran should be an Aramaic word where it's coming Qarra wa ra'a, which means you read what you see. But Muhammad did not read anything. He did not see anything. Allah did not give him a book. According to Muslims, Muhammad, he never received one page. He received only a delivery from a guy, his name is Jibreel. <clears throat> okay, well, look like we have a bad... Uh, okay, guys, so I will finish now. We will come back tomorrow. Uh, I will move this topic for tomorrow. The same, the same thing. Maybe I will change the, the, the name of the title so people will not think it's the same... Uh, I mean, they will think this is an old one. So I will make a new title, and by tomorrow, I hope we will be able to fix the setup for the uh, for this program. I'm using, uh, you know, free uh, online coding system, and this is why this is happening. You need to find, figure out what is the best setting. All right. Uh, do you guys hear me now? Am I heard or no? Am I heard now? Okay. So we will stop right now as long as we have a I need to, to finish the setting of the program to find the best way. I hope by tomorrow is going to be working fine. And tomorrow we can continue. All right. So tomorrow morning in my time is going to be, I don't know what time is going to be yours. As usual, we'll be live on air again. 
and I hope we will be able to answer your questions. And again, never take Islam from those who don't know. There's a Christians, there's two kinds of a Christians. Christians by name who fabricate things, saying things that are true. As an example, Islam is Abrahamic. Muhammad is from Abraham. There's some, they say that, but they are ignorant, not they are liars. But there's some they knew it's not true, and they say it. However, both of them, we should not listen to them. The ignorant is not better from the liar, because ignorant should not speak without studying carefully. You go to your church, you hear uh, a Christian a priest, minister, maybe he's a good guy, maybe he's a wonderful guy, I don't care. And then he says to you that Muhammad is from Ishmael. Shouldn't, shouldn't we ask him where he got us from? Why are we Christians when we listen to those priests who claim to be priests? Don't ask them, where is the reference in the Bible says that Muhammad is from Ishmael? Where even in the Bible it says that the Arab are the children of Ishmael? You see, Moses, in the Bible, he did marry from a Bedouin woman, Bedouin woman from the desert. The word Arab means desert. Arabia is not an ethnic. Arabia is, is a word meaning desert in Aramaic language. So whoever live in the desert, they call them the Arab. Arab are not an ethnic. Do you understand? Arab are not ethnic. Arab are people of the desert. You see, here we go, we are losing connection again. Are we losing connection? Arabia is a word meaning desert. Arab whoever live in it. Aram, you say we say Aramaic. We say what? Aramaic. Before we finish, as long as we are going to finish and continue tomorrow. Aram is the grandfather of the Aramaic. Oops, I'm typing in Arabic. Aram itself is uh, the reason he is Aram or Ar the Aramaic people because people who don't live in the desert they live in high hills high hills not necessarily mountains but not a low ground so the name is given based in what in where they live this person he lived there his name is etc this person he lived there his name is etc the same as we say Palestinian Palestinians, there is no ethnic, it's called Palestinian. It's not an ethnic, you know. It's a person who occupy a territory. The same as we say, uh, 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 I mean, any, anything, like you say, uh, Egyptian. Why do they call them Egyptian? Because they live in Egypt, right? But uh, Egyptian is the name of the country. What about those people who live there? People who live there are Coptic. The Arab invade Egypt. They are not the Egyptian. Those are invasion. The same as now, they say to you, the name of, uh, as an example, Jordan. Jordan is an Arab country. The fact, Jordan never was an Arab country. Because, as we said, Arab is not an ethnic. It's people of the desert. There is nothing is called Jordan as an Arab country. Never exists. There's no, in history, there's one king we remember. He's an Arab as they call them as an ethnic today, and he was in Jordan. Which, what was the name of the kingdom there? Never exists. Uh, Syria, I mean, the name alone is clear. Syria, Syriac. Syriac is a Syrian language, Aramaic. Those are Syrian. Syrian are not Arab. Syrian have nothing to do with the Arab. They are the Aramaic. So there's a lot of misunderstanding about what is Arab. If you live in the desert of Arizona, according to the Aramaic, you are an Arab because you live in the desert. It has nothing to do with, with, with an ethnic. Yeah, Palestine is in the, in the Bible, I know. You see, in the Quran, you will not find the word Palestine. But Palestine is not about an ethnic. There's many ethnic live there. But whoever live there, they call them 
by the name of the territory you understand and this is something until now people they practice like now I live in America I got my American citizenship so I am an American but I'm I'm really an originally American no correct maybe 95 percent of population of America maybe maybe more have nothing to do with America as American most of them they are all of them they are immigrant but yet we call them American so people who live in the desert are called Arab because the word desert is Arab hmm? uh, if you search we come from the council question that Al Nakash is accused of lying from Talha. And I'm not sure what you are saying. You pointed, let me see what this guy is saying. Let me go back to your text. Give me a second, please. I don't understand your question uh, with his name. All right. If we research, we come to conclusion that Al Nakash is accused of lying from Talha ibn Muhammad bin Jafar. I have no idea, Mr. Mida, what are you talking about? What Naqash, what accused, I don't know what you're talking about. So anyway, there's many things we have wrongly, and we learn even from a church, but we should not learn from ignorant. Don't learn from ignorant. Always ask them where you get this from. Anyone who says something to you, ask him where you get this from. If I say something to you, tell me where you get this from. As simple as that you know what I mean don't let people just say things and that's it whatever they say you copy paste we are a human we have a brain and you need to be suspicious about anything will be said to you because do we agree there is liars yes do we agree there is a fraud people yes do we agree that there's people who will take advantage of you yes do we agree that Satan is exist absolutely so Satan, he will use many mouths. So how we knew who is saying the truth, who is not? Examine it. He said that to you. Check it out. He said to you, Muhammad from Ishmael. Okay, show me where it says Muhammad from Ishmael. I want to see it. Even in the Quran, it doesn't say that. Which make it more funny. Even in the book of Muhammad, it doesn't say that Muhammad from Ishmael. Nowhere. So when somebody says something to you, tell him, show us. Otherwise, you are making things up. Right? Benu uh, Samuel, Samuel. Is it true that more wife confirmed to call uh, to be prophet when angels my friend this is we, our topic here is about Islam if you want to ask about Christianity I advise you to call our brother Sam Shamoon he will be happy he will be all over the place to answer you Sam Shamoon is the best to answer you about the Bible because you know at first he is every fluent in the in the in the language of the Bible and uh, he can explain better than me uh, when it's come to this topic here you see we have a specialty we have people who work in the Bible, we have people who work in Islam, we have people who work in uh, refuting Jehovah's Witnesses. So, you want to ask about the Bible, go to Sam Shamoon, everybody know his page, and you will enjoy it. Uh, just have patience with him, because Sam Shamoon, you know, sometimes he loses patience, but he will be happy to answer you. Here we like to focus in, in the cult of Islam. I don't want, I don't like to mix things up. I don't mind to answer about the Bible, but I mean, your question has nothing to do with our topic. Same time, your question 
You see, when some some people they start asking questions about the Old Testament, all right? Why you don't go to the Jews and ask them about the Old Testament? Why people they come to the Christians ask them about the Old Testament? This is something I don't really understand, because if the Jews are the one who presented the Old Testament for us as a Christians, then they should be the one who answer you about such a question. Their rabbis, their you know, we are the Christians. For me, honestly, how you understand the Old Testament, you can fabricate meaning, you can make up meaning, you can lie about it. Still, that will not affect me, because at the end of the day, the Old Testament. All of it is just to present Christ for me. All the stories in the Old Testament, nothing important about it for me, except how God He came to us, which means how Christ He came to us. And Christ He came. So for me, I don't really focus in the Old Testament and the history of the Old Testament much, because I am a believer in Christ, and the Old Testament is just to prepare for the coming of Christ. And Christ He came. He came already. So for me, instead of focusing in the Old Testament, I prefer to focus in Christ. You know what I mean? Uh, peacemaker, he is saying, the same scenario all the year. What I can say to you, my, my friend, just to show you how Muslims are funny. Peacemaker saying the following. In Arabic, the same repeated scenario all the year. Uh, ask yourself, here we go. It's funny that we have in the front of us the chapter of Al-Fatiha. The same scenario all your life, repeating the same stupid words, and it's not even your words. Correct? So as long as you are talking about the same scenario, can you tell us why you pray five times a day? A word you did not say it's Allah saying those words why you are saying what Allah said do you see it ah, yeah I don't speak the Arabic Fusha Somalian boy so Nobody repeat as much as Muslims five times a day repeating something Allah said. Imagine, guys, you call God, you say to him what he said to you. How silly, how stupid, how boring. Mido, we did not see your question, you idiot. Mido, what is your question? Nobody saw your question. Anyone saw the question of Mido? We are scared of Mido. Be my witness. We are scared of Mido. Where is your question, Mido? You stupid. You said we blocked you. If you are blocked, you cannot even post that text you are saying. Do you see that? You, do you see your text? You are saying to me, I'm scared of you. How I blocked you, and then you can post text, you idiot. Where's your question? Uh, go to real debate you are conducting one man show never you allow others to defend uh, no that's not uh, true mr false tony because i have debate with shakes and they have their full time and they lose at the end you can go and watch my debate with the sheikh of hisham al husseini right live on abn tv the Christian TV actually took the side of the sheikh against me. Yet, I made him shish kebab. And Mr. Tony, as long as you are a Muslim who is speaking about one man show, all of you Muslim, you do one man show. I called the, the dean show, they did not let me go through. We called Mimi Hijab, he hung up me, on me eight times in less than five minutes. And he did not let me talk. Right? You said that the Quran, chapter 113, number 3, talking about male gentila. Uh, guys, Quran 113. Okay. Male gentila. 
<laughs> okay, my friend, Mr. Mido, if I show you that this is what it is talking about, what you will do in the front of everybody. Guys, is that fair? Mido, are you willing to call me in Skype and I will show you the reference right in the front of your eyes? From your Islamic books? That this is about the penis when it's standing up? Mido, are you there? In the front of everybody, challenge. Yeah, this is okay. <clears throat> Mido, Mido, don't, don't waste my time. Do you accept my challenge? Do you accept my challenge to call me right now and I will show you the reference that this is about the penis? People, is that fair? Either you are a liar or I am a liar in front of everybody. The one who cannot show reference is a coward. So do you accept me though? Say yes. And I will open Skype for you. Be the man. In the front of everybody, either you accept or get lost. There is a three centuries between Al-Nakash and Ibn Abbas and before we cannot accept as a valid attribution to him. Get lost. Here we go. He starts now saying, what Naqash, you idiot? And who Naqash? You idiot, who is Naqash? I don't care. Does it the reference say is that this is about the penis? So you are saying to me, look how stupid his answer, guys. That the one who wrote the book about Ibn Abbas, he was a three centuries after that. Well, is it uh, Al-Bukhari was a three centuries after your prophet? Was Al-Bukhari was born in the time of your prophet? How come an Naqash is a garbage and your Bukhari is good? Was Ibn Kathir born in the time of your prophet? So you just admit it that yes it says in the interpretation it is about penis so now you get penis in your eye and what you can do about it you got penis in your eye you just admitted that in the islamic interpretation not a christian prince statement it says this is about penis penis is standing up and you just admitted that ibn abbas saying that but you are saying the guy who wrote that 300 years after ibn abbas not my problem what do you mean deceiving guys i just read for you what in your books i am deceiving and you agree that says that there do you see the stupidity of the spoke if you you know we show them what is in their books they say we are lying and he agree it says that you agreed you donkey you agreed that this is what Ibn Abbas saying in the book. But you are saying to me, oh, the guy who wrote this book, he's a three centuries after Ibn Abbas, but uh, Al-Bukhari was uh, centuries after your prophet. Ibn Kathir was centuries about your, after your prophet. Al-Qurtubi, Al-Tabari. So how come you don't accept, you accept them? Mido the potato. So I'm thankful for Mido because now he admitted that yes, in the book of Ibn Abbas, it says that. Okay, here we go. So Mido, are you going to call me or you will not call me to show you what it's mean? Say yes, you will call me. Be a man. Hmm? Say yes. Otherwise, I will send you free shipping and hand it into Allah. Yes or no? You know what? I will post it anyway. And everybody will laugh at you in a second. Let us see some reference. 
And let's see how this Abdul will answer this. Potato. I'm going to give you even from different books, from the one you are talking about. This is Ihya U Ulum al Deen, variant number two. Uh, is it variant number two? Uh, no, this is. Uh, anyway, this is the uh, 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 page number uh, thirty-nine. Or 29 the text is not clear and here it says the following and Ibn Abbas uh, anhuma, said Min idha waqab, qala qiyamu he said when the Quran says in chapter 113 verse number three idha waqab, mean the stand of the penis when the penis get hard and stand excuse my language so now you will say to me it's a lie well it's in your book we show reference we show proofs and we make you read it in with your own eyes if you have eyes ah, but i forgot you don't have eyes you have a penis only and then what you say you say christian prince is lying well, this is your books. I'm just showing what is written in your books. This is a great example, actually. We are losing connection. This is a great example how the Muslim they try to defend. They accuse me of lying, but it is in their book. And then they agree. The book says that, but you don't agree with the book. So who's lying? Did I show the reference? Yes, I did. Is it in your book? Yes, in your book. Now, why are you playing a Christian prince? I am just showing you what is there. So how I can be a liar? By showing you what is in your book. Yeah, well, what we can do, the, sh the connection is not good. So we will try to fix that later. And until, guys, I I'm going to finish here until we see you tomorrow because connection is not good and uh, there is no point but as you see uh, Muslims they are always in chaos because what we show them in their books they are ashamed of it as simple as that ashamed to death anyway I'm, I'm going to stop here because obviously the internet is not doing good and guys we will see you tomorrow and I will see you tomorrow may the Lord bless you all Christ is Lord and Islam is nothing but shame and lame. Garbage in, garbage out. And when the Muslim they try to refute us, they showed themselves in the foot. Like me do now, he agreed. Yes, Ibn Abbas saying that, but in a book which I don't agree with. I don't care if you agree with the book or not. First, this is Islamic book written by a Muslim scholar, and I am reading for you what it says there. Now, if your scholars and your Muslims are a bunch of liars like you, that means you Muslims accusing each other to flying, and you are a bunch of liars. We, how we can trust you? How we can trust any Muslim explain the Quran? You just admitted that you Muslim you lie about your Quran. You give fabrication of the meaning of Allah words. And who is doing that? Muslims. Shame on you. We cannot trust Muslims after now. And this is what you taught us. Muslims always they lie when they explain the Quran. It doesn't matter if they are scholars or not. Thank you guys for being here. Until we see you tomorrow again, Christ is Lord. Islam is false. And we get it busted each time we go live on here. Don't forget to subscribe and join us tomorrow morning, I hope. God is willing. Thank you.